Brazil has become an epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic, with Sao Paulo state the most affected region. More than 6,700 people have died there, nearly a quarter of all deaths in the country. Brazil now has 411,000 confirmed cases, second only to the United States. The health ministry confirmed more than 1,000 new deaths in the past 24 hours, bringing the total number of people who've died from COVID-19 to more than 25,000. Well, a short while ago, I spoke to Sao Paulo's governor, Joao Doria, and he explained why, despite the high numbers of COVID cases in his state, he's decided to restart the economy. We follow the medicine, the science, and we have under control uh, the infection of coronavirus in the city of Sao Paulo and the state of Sao Paulo. So uh, we graduate uh, the opening and the uh, flexibility here in Sao Paulo city and Sao Paulo state. Uh, is uh, allow uh, to use masks so people when leave home uh, when they need, because we still uh, saying to the people, we stay at home, but when they, they have to leave home, they must use masks and also to follow the social distance uh, when they go to supermarkets or pharmacy, uh, for example. Okay. Well, in the past uh, few weeks, you've clashed a, a number of times with President Bolsonaro over his approach to handling the coronavirus epidemic. Would you say that now you're more uh, aligned with his position? No. Uh, unfortunately, we are against uh, the position of uh, President of Brazil. Unfortunately, uh, he's uh, not a good example. He gives the wrong example to the people. Uh, going, for example, going to the streets without masks, uh, promoting uh, agglomerations in Brasilia, and uh, recommending uh, consumption of uh, chloroquine, uh, wrong decisions, uh, wrong examples, uh, unfortunately, here in, in Brazil. But in Sao Paulo State, we follow uh, the health uh, organization, the World Health Organization. And I have to mention that it's very hard to keep people home respecting uh, the health organization when you have a president uh, who turns uh, our world uh, weaker. So it's more difficult. Uh, in fact, uh, we have two big combats at this moment in Brazil. Uh, the festival, uh, the most important one is the coronavirus. And the second one is Bolsonaro virus, because as the president of Brazil, uh, uh, he is uh, trying to stimulate people to go out of home, uh, not to use masks and uh, to consume chloroquine. Uh, we cannot waste time when it comes to people's uh, lives. Dude, well, what do you say then, well, because you've had leaders in you know, neighboring states, that's like Manor House, who've only this week have called saying that they can't cope, the economic damage is so uh, severe that they've made international appeals to, to what, to France, for example. In Sao Paulo, we have a program. Uh, we invited the former Brazilian economy minister, Henrique Meirelles, uh, to hold this in Sao Paulo, and he's preparing uh, this new way uh, uh, starting January of next year.